the unburied dead are coming back to life, coming back to life. My name's Mark Warman. I'm Darren Kirkpatrick. And we get paid to bring dead cars back to life. We work with my best friend, Royal, and my son-in-law, Josh. We search far and wide to find how a car was built, where it spent its life, and how it died. After that, we bring it back to look exactly the way it did on the day it was born. If we don't kill each other. Past couple of weeks, it's rained probably seven out of the 14 days. Some days it poured pretty good. Some days it just drizzled. Oh crap. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, he's What'd you stupid. do? The Cuda got flooded because somebody shut the sump pumps off. It's that simple. Somebody walked over to it, shut them off, totally disregarded anything I had said prior to that about leaving them on all the time. And because it's been raining so hard, it ended up flooding the loading dock and burying the Cuda. Two shut the pumps off. Good job, Josh. What are you yelling at me for? I, I didn't, didn't yell. do it. I didn't yell. Well, you've got that tone, Darren. I'm not quite sure exactly what the sump pumps are, except for the fact I know that they got shut off and I got accused for it. And I did not touch the sump pumps. I just think it's ridiculous. I mean, the car's supposed to be on the back of the rollback, on its way over to the dipper, not in water. When we talk about taking a car to a dipper, what we're talking about doing is taking it over to another shop where they have tanks that are filled with chemicals that remove rust, they remove paint, they remove Bondo, remove old fillers. Anything that's in that car that you want off of it, it'll strip off of there. What did it hurt, really? Well, it didn't, it just slows us down. It just slows us down a lot, okay? Now we gotta pump the thing out and then get the car loaded up on the back of the rollback, which is supposed to have been over there yesterday, but you guys took too long inside doing the other things. With all the work that's going on around here, it's kind of hard to, to pay attention to that kind of stuff. Maybe you should take better no, care maybe of, I, of you people's cars. Do what I asked you to do when I asked Who put you to it do? there? Yeah. It's sitting there <laughs> Let's turn around on Mark. To come get it with the rollback. So it's our fault? Somebody probably just forgotten about it and it got flooded. Kind of a, just a big accident. Just go in and get it. So did you shut it off? Royal did it. Did you? No. Did you? I didn't do it. Bro? I didn't do it. Whatever. I wasn't here this week when the Cuda got flooded. I did not shut the pumps off. I did not shut off the pumps. No, I didn't shut off the pumps. What pump? Good afternoon, Wilbies. He's not, he's actually gone right now. Can I take a message? I am making a flyer for the pumpkin carbon contest. I think it's an all right idea. I mean, I think that we're really busy right now. We don't really have time to plan and um, things like this. Like I could be doing research on cars right now instead of doing a flyer. I think the pumpkin carbon contest was a brilliant idea, to be honest with you. It gets everybody together. It, it, it reinforces the spirit of camaraderie as well as competition. It'll be a good break for the guys in the shops. They'll have fun doing it together. We're gonna join together at one table with sharp knives and uh, carved pumpkins. Because there's always a lot of competition, so there's one more thing for them to get to compete on. Undo isn't even an option. So how do you shrink that back, Dad? Why don't you redraw the pumpkin? Redo the whole thing? When I have work to do, you're having me make a flyer? Looks like a five-year-old kid could have made that in about two seconds with an edge of sketch. Well, I'll say the same thing about your pumpkin when you well, carve it. Well, don't say anything about my pumpkin. My pumpkin will be perfect, but that's okay. what it is. If I had proper equipment... We said it's not Charlie Brown. Why are we making a flyer when everybody who is in the pumpkin carving contest already knows? Have you met the people that are in the pumpkin carving oh my contest? God. They need to have it, con just like you, they just need to have it reiterated over and over and over. Can I just send them an email? No, they don't read. 
You have to print out the picture of the pumpkin. And then they'll know. And then they'll know. Okay. Well, is a half pumpkin? Are they able to tell what that is? Is that okay? That doesn't look like much of a pumpkin. I have to read it. But I don't think to them it'll matter. Okay. I'm just going to print it then. Oh, even better. Dad. What? We don't have color. So that looks like an almond. It's fine for them. It's. Yeah. That's okay? Don't know what Okay, I never made this if anybody asked because this is not up to my quality. There you go. Whatever. Pumps get shut off occasionally. Nobody seems to admit to it, so let's just get in and get it done. I wonder who couldn't read. The measure off the edge of the hood, 12 inches right to the very beginning of that stripe, the rally stripe. Then the rally stripe itself is an inch and a quarter wide. Most of the Mopars that I work on, the graphics are made of vinyl. So you put them on just like you would a regular decal. Occasionally, like the 70 Roadrunner, the B21 blackout on the hood, it's painted on. But they're gonna go all the way down, all the way across the back of the cowl. And what I do is I go inside, I'm anal retentive when it comes to painting something on a car. I don't like doing it. So I take it all the way down into here, right into the into the reverse corner. Yeah, gotcha, okay. So bring it all the way here, and then when we paint it, maybe, yeah, it won't get all solid right into that inside corner. I don't want to stand back and see black and then a little seam of purple at the bottom. Because okay. nothing looks cheesier than seeing the end of the stripe. Is that the outside or the inside? This is, the stripe's gonna be right inside of there. Okay. They're diving just a little bit. See, we're just like from here to here, it just oh, yeah. has, yeah. it's because of the nature of the hand. Yeah. So if you just tell me, I can. No. It's crooked now this way, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tell me perfectly straight. Nope, gotta go towards Main Street. This is by far my favorite car I've ever done. I love it. You know, the, the color, the body, uh, the shape of the car, it's just, it's a cool car. Yeah, I love it. It's a challenging job, and if you mess up, you get to repaint the hood and the upper cowl panel. So you gotta make sure that thing is laser straight, that it wraps around the back edge of the hood, that it wraps around the front edge of the cowl. Okay. Yeah, that one is like that. Um, you have to use the blue fine line tape or the paint will bleed underneath it. It's one of the things I see at the car shows is one of two things will happen. Uh, one of the guys will, whoever's laying out the stripes on the hood will get in a hurry, and they'll get a little bit of a snake to them, a little crooked, or they won't mask, fine line them out with the actual fine line tape, and if they don't use the fine line tape, the paint will bleed under it, so you'll see all these little, just faint little whiskers of paint up and down the, uh, the striping on the outside, outside edge. Everything is gonna be exactly the way this car came off the assembly line in 1970. Royal just taking another one for the team. Everything being delayed, it's gonna delay the pumpkin carving contest too. I am not rich enough just to pay second day air on every night. This was the stupidest thing to agree to. Oh jeez. I turned the pumps on, two hours later it still hadn't drained. I was a little unhappy about having to wade in and, and unplug it, but nobody else seemed to want to do it. God, that's cold. Royal just taking another one for the team. <laughs> I did not do this. Oh, I think it's nice that Royal in his own little way, volunteered to go out into the water and, and, and unplug it. But then again, I just, I, I kind of have to take that with a, a grain of salt because I wonder, is he the guy that shut the pumps off? So is he volunteering because he wants to take one for the team or is he volunteering out of guilt? I'm going home.
Unmasking a car post paint is as tedious of a job as masking it. If you're not cautious and take your time and make sure that the paint isn't bridged anywhere, you can actually peel up either the old paint or part of your new paint. The coup to being flooded is just another example of why we don't get things done on time. And I'll tell you something, the Roadrunner not being done on time, the coup to being flooded, everything being delayed, it's gonna delay the pumpkin carbon contest too. I install the motor and the transmission in the cars the exact same way the manufacturer did. I lower the car down around the motor. In this particular case, we have to raise the motor up into it, but it's the same effect. I use a forklift and pick it up from the bottom, align all of the original K-member bolt holes up and begin raising it up into the cavity. The other guys help on each side by guiding it and making sure that it doesn't scratch the paint off the inner fender wells. Sometimes it goes smoothly, sometimes not so smoothly. What am I hitting? This particular case, we had it at an angle, so we couldn't get the bolts on the right-hand side to go into place, so we had to set it back down and pick it up from a different angle so that it would raise up into the cavity evenly so we could install all the bolts and the transmission cross member. Go to the right. Yeah, keep going. Okay. okay. You might hang on the end of that spring. Ow, oh, yeah! Out. Still need to go a little bit further, don't we? We could hammer it. Okay, Joshy, I don't think you can pound that out of there, buddy. We can give it a whirl. Well, you know what? I'm gonna try it. Hey. We don't care if we lose Mark's socket forever. Do yeah, it. he's got a hundred other ones. Nope, 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 nope. We're gonna just have to press it out. You know what? What about need? if we take those vice grips right there? And then we just put something, put something in there, and then we could push it all the way through. Come here, Darren. Yes, boss. You know I love you. <laughs> what are you attempting to do here, my friend? It's his operation from here on. Maybe you should just hold put, here. Put, I thought we should just put here. it in the press and hold press here. it out somewhere. Hold okay. Here. You getting excited about the pumpkin carving contest? Yeah, I am. Good. We'll see how well Darren can carve, see how well you can carve, see how well I can carve. Everybody seems to be excited about the pumpkin carving contest except uh, Darren. I don't think Darren is very excited about the contest. He doesn't consider himself very good at it. Make fun of him. If he does show up, he'll have a lot of fun. It's gonna be I'm fun, gonna make, man. I'm gonna make mine look like Mark. <laughs> really? <laughs> cool. Yeah, I'm thinking about doing that too, man. He just puts himself up for public mockery anyways, you know. <laughs> that big old huge beak of his. <laughs> I don't know if I'd call it stealing parts from Darren's car. I'd borrow them. That's sick! Dude, don't do that. What's that? That was good. You're 57 you years old. Ooh, I'm just getting so mad. What are you doing? Tightening into the screwdriver, black. You're an idiot. You're a buffoon. <laughs> Today we're building the steering column out and putting the wheel opening moldings on the 71 Charger. Okay, Josh, I'm ready for you. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Let's Come get on, you back buddy. to work. Yeah, it's gotta be bent or twisted, so I don't know which well, one. Well, it's to be smarter than the metal. Hey, Mark. 
Yeah. You want to bend this wheel opening molding where it really is bad, so we don't get blamed if it gets ruined, because it's way, way off. I have no idea why they were having such a difficult time. Probably the same reason they have a difficult time with most of the things they do. You're about to get punched in your face. <laughs> By who? You know, if I get up and I thump you one, you're going you to go to the me? hospital. Why do you want to thump me? Because you're messing with me, fool. I usually start at the 12 o'clock position of the wheel opening molding, insert the first screw, and then begin holding it and forging it against the panel all the way down so that I have a snug fit from top to bottom. But I think they started at the very, very bottom and tried to work their way up, which is insane -o. Did he get those parts off my steering column? Seriously? Like you said? He probably did. What do you mean probably? No, I want to know for sure if I go over and confront him about it. Did it? you see? I I've had a long time problem with Mark and doing parts in my car without my permission. You know, at least the last, the last six years or so. I really don't know. You're just saying that because you're your son-in-law, right? No. So now I'm going to feed with you too, right? Tara, no. Well, well, everybody knows here at the shop what you did. Nobody knows well, here what everybody I did. knows what you did. I don't know if I'd call it stealing parts from Darren's car. I borrow them. Yeah, sometimes I borrow parts off of Darren's car. I got you a bunch of stuff Win. on the way. It's on order. I've heard that two or three years. It's coming by stagecoach. Um, okay, no, Mr. Sarcasm. It. It's not I, coming by stagecoach. You better just start doing something about it. But I am okay? not rich enough just to pay second day air on every night. He doesn't make the rules about when he brings the parts back. Well, he does make the rules, but he shouldn't be able to. Put it on the list. No, I'm not putting it on the list. The list is too long. Okay, so here's the deal. No, there's no deal. You don't take him, you make the deal. If you take it apart... Don't do no, it. Well, Mark, it's Can you guys seriously off? get along for five seconds? I yeah, but doubt it. Can you civilly talk to each other no. for five seconds? No. <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I could. I can. I can. I am <laughs> mature and he is I not. Can. I get along fine with him. He doesn't get along fine with me. You guys be civil to each other for at least an hour. <laughs> okay. no, that can't happen. Can you do it? No, I can do it. I can't do it. Sure, I can do you it. You can't be civil. Sure, I can do it. You're trying to be civil about you already. being civil. I get emails all the time saying, you say Darren's a pain in the butt, but I think you're the pain in the butt. Well, I'm not the pain in the butt. I'm not the pain in the butt. Darren's the pain in the butt. Well, what's the deal? The deal is. I'm a lot more mature than he is. <laughs> this is true. Right. Mm -hmm. okay, no, I'm, I'm kidding. That's, that's mean. Too. Steak dinner. One hour. One hour right now, and I know you can't resist because they're on, and you can't well, resist because you're, that. you're pet monkeys here. I don't have here. to deal with you for an hour. I'll just okay. get away from No, me. you have to interact. Just we'll work on the car, and you have to be civil for one hour. And the winner, the winner who can be civil, if it's a draw, we go out to dinner mutually. We go, what do they call that when you and your boyfriend go out to dinner? Dutch. Or, yeah, you and, okay, it's like that, okay? <laughs> and, and, if, and if you crack and you lose, you buy dinner for the other person. Anyway, thank you very much for the use of your clip, and we're not taking the column apart. So, jump in. We may take the column apart. All right. I'm not gonna take the, the column apart. The clock has started now. Let's the clock has not started. What clock? Yes, because I am the judge, and I am slamming down the gavel. It actually didn't really matter if it was okay with Mark or Darren that I was the judge, because I pretty much put my foot in and said, I am the judge. This is the way it's gonna be. This is what's gonna happen. I bought a beautiful green steering wheel. Isn't that incredible? But um, I need the Dodge version of that. I, I actually think the Dodge one is wood grain right here. So what are you saying? You don't have to. I think I need that centerpiece or, that. Or where's the one off this originally? Uh, we took it and used it on the '71 Roadrunner. That's the one you donated the horns for too. And thank you. Because that was actually. Are they really missing? Oh well, yeah, that's right. You did take them, yeah. but and you didn't take them again, did you? But uh, once you take them, you can't take them again. No, and I wanted to thank you for that. And you didn't take them again, though. Heck yes, I did, my friend. Okay, um, can you hold the steering column up? Well, I'm going to go look on that 71. Uh, you go back. do that, my He's good got friend. got that center thing on it. How long think market lasts in the bet? Mm, less than five minutes. My maturity level on both a social and an intellectual level are considerably higher than Darren's. Here's the 71 parts car. Oh, nice. Nice, Mark. I go outside to do something, come back in, door's locked. I felt cheated, violated. I mean, here we are, we just made an agreement. How long before that? Oh, 
That felt good. I don't think it was really fair that Mark locked Darren out of the building. I mean, it's kind of cold-blooded. Now where are they? Can open the door, please. Oh boy, now what? We're just right here. You see what they do? They go and they lock me out over there. Then they act like they're not even in there. Locking somebody out is not cold-blooded. It's my job. It's what I do. And anybody at home would have done the same thing. Hi. Think you can let me in? <laughs> oh, that's nice, Mark. Come let me in. Is it raining? A little bit. A little bit of rain. It would never hurt anybody, though, did it? Well, hey, hello, thanks. my brother. Nice trick. Over there on their door. Nice I'm, trick. I'm sorry. I'm so you sorry. lose. Why is that? No. You, you shut the door behind me. I didn't even know you were outside. There's a bracket. I said that it had, it's, it's gone. The door's shut. I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. Well, let's just go there and look. And if the bracket's on the inside, it's an inside job. But what I'm saying is, no, I no. didn't know. I didn't. I'm not going to argue with you. <laughs> let's just go over here and look. No, I know. No, I, you know I, can, hey, can you say well done? I like my steak well done, okay? What are you talking about? Well done? Pepsi? Well, I went out here and I put the put this little... Cool. And see, it's not <laughs> out there. I put it right here. It's right Where? there. Get it. I don't see it. Well, Mark. you put it there. I didn't. There's no bracket out here. Oh, nice. Children. Chicken fried steak. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Hey, how come he got beans and I got corn? Yeah. We liked him better. <laughs> Darren won, so Mark had to take us both out for a nice steak dinner. Wow. Wow what? I get to go to the nice steak dinner because I'm the judge. And somebody needs to split these two apart. I was the genius that came up with this bet. They both have an ego problem, so I'm gonna be the judge. Chicken fried steak? That's how appropriate for you, chicken. Then we're going out for steak and he takes us down to a hamburger place. He says, well, you can have chicken fried steak, it's the same thing. No, it's not the same as a sirloin, a T-bone or whatever. No, it's not the same. Oh, you can, I don't care what they had down there at Finn's restaurant, okay? He, they chose to have chicken fried steak. There's steak in that word. And that absolutely uh, qualifies it as the payoff for the bet. I'm, I'm not taking them anywhere else. the stupidest thing to agree to. That's sick. Dude, don't do that. That thing needs to be over there. It needs to get dipped so we can assess exactly what panels we're gonna be able to save and what ones we're not. We gotta get this drive shaft disassembled, painted, reassembled and installed before that car can come down. And that car's coming down now. Let's do it. Do you want this gloss or uh, satin? Either way is fine. Ever since we neutered Mark, he's been pretty easy to get along with. What do you want, you freak? <laughs> Double check all my stuff, make sure it's tight. Another fine job by Royal Yoke. Oh, where, oh, where? I don't know. I can't find the shocks. Where are the did, shocks? Did you never ask me where the shocks are? Yeah, I did. I've been asking. They're not for here yet. Them. They're on back order. We're waiting for them. Yeah. Man, I can't roll. You got, I can't glare from the back of your head. I can't see. Man, like magnifies the light. You got the sexist to help you. <laughs> Where's the rooster you took that hammer from? Oh, God dang it. Can you go to work? What? I had to keep over here. No contest, you no were, Roadrunner. You were trying to take that, you joined a part without taking a clip out of it. Because I couldn't see it. 
Wow, you've got issues, buddy. No, you do. You may want to go ahead and call Les Schwab to get you some new tires right now. Uh-oh. What are you talking about? I've already, somebody's already played that game with me before. Whoa, really? Yeah, they did. Well, I guess you didn't tires. learn the first time now, did ya? No, I, what are you picking up? What are you coming at me for all of a sudden? Hey, Josh, I think we need to get along a little better, a little better, bud. Do what? We and you need to start getting along a little better. We Mark, need to get along a little better? Yeah, Mark's trying to destroy our relationship. No, he did not. Darren and my relationship is kind of weird. You know I love you. Huh. Okay. Maybe we don't some... say it enough. I gotta do something important. See, this is what you do. Every time I try to have a civil conversation with you and you just turn around. I run and, and hide my emotions, right? Like a little girly man, you girly man. Go ahead. There's a two foot rule. <laughs> How's that? That was good. Ah! Toe up. Which toe? <laughs> You're about to get punched. When are we having the pumpkin carving contest? I'm not answering the, the pumpkin I'm not. Don't come to me like little kids. I remember when I was in third grade, Mrs. Wilcox over at Yolanda School. Same thing, we all want to know, when's the Halloween party? She says, afternoon. Okay, so the minute noon hits, every kid, but keep in mind, it's third grade. Every kid in the class, when, when's the party, 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 when's the party gonna be, when's the party gonna be? Hey, 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 Mrs. Wilcox. What's your point? What's your, what's your, what's your point? That you're 57 years old. You're 57 years old, it's time to knock it off. over the third grade issue And yet. you shouldn't be standing there with your funny arms and your funny face. I asked a simple question. I know you did. Oh, boy. I'm a on your side. Question. I'm on your side. It's always a fight. The pumpkin carving contest is a reward for a job well done. So before I can reward them, we're gonna have to have the Roadrunner down off the rack so we can start putting it together. And that kuda's gotta get off to the dipper. Did you drop it or anything ignorant like that? And why would I drop it? it? Why would you drop it? I don't know, why would you lose the clevis pin? Why would you throw the horseshoe you, pin away? You watched why would you shut the pumps off? You need to you give watched me the whole give. entire time. I forgive it's the same thing. thing. That's why would you do any of the things that That's you do? He's gonna need a therapist for that. It's Maybe you should have it professionally installed, your joint. Now that Royal's got the sump pumps turned on and the water's out, he can start emptying the parts out. over to Albertsons because the other day when I drove by there, they still had about 100 pumpkins sitting out front. After Halloween, it gets a little bit more difficult finding a pumpkin. You just can't go your regular avenues and routes. They're gone. They were right there. The day before Halloween, I drove right by Albertsons, right there in between the two. Why would they do that? Oh, that's so stupid. Honestly, where would you, what would you put a pumpkin if Okay, right Aid. They had some right underneath that canopy. Are you friggin' serious? Everybody apparently just reels up the pumpkins the day after Halloween. Well, probably because everybody else did their job the day before Halloween so they can enjoy their pumpkins the night of Halloween. So we're going out to the Thurston uh, Safeway. And if it's not out there, if they don't have the pumpkins out there, I'll go on Craigslist. I don't care. I'll find the pumpkins. 
Ooh, you're so stupid because you should have had the pumpkins already bought because I don't think it's my responsibility to buy pumpkins for a group of guys who can't seem to finish the projects on time and then reward them by going out and buying pumpkins. How much are pumpkins? It's been years since I bought a pumpkin. What are they, a buck a piece? You can't just go to the store and they just have them sitting there. You can have to go more or less to a farmer or a produce stand and buy a pumpkin, get a pumpkin. Because Mark is a city slicker, he doesn't know anything about that. God, Safeway never. They still got stuff out from the 4th of July. Why don't they have any pumpkins? And they were all right there where it says wet floor. Stupid. What would you do with 100 pumpkins left over? What would you do? Oh, I know. Mark loves Halloween. I, I know for a fact that that is his favorite time of year. Him and I share a lot of similarities. We both like horror movies, things that just scare you. So what, the day after Halloween, the, the, the pumpkin fairy comes by the stores and takes up all the pumpkins and hauls them off? It's been to like three stores so far and usually they're just stacked up out front of Albertsons or Safeway. So I just got hold of a guy on Craigslist who said he had 20 pumpkins for 20 bucks. So I called him up, answers the phone, and he's all, all quiet about it. Yeah, I got some pumpkins, man. Yeah, cool, well, I, I don't, I just, I, I need eight pumpkins, I need eight pumpkins. You sure you don't want all 20 pumpkins, man? I don't need all 20 pumpkins, man, I need eight. I got eight people I need pumpkins for. Maybe not even that many, I'm not sure. All right, well, I'm going to the game today. So meet me out behind the game. Huh? Yeah, meet me out behind. I'll meet you in a parking lot. I'll be driving an older, unmarked Toyota pickup. Well, what do you, I mean, it's, I hope that, it's not illegal to buy pumpkins after, after Halloween, right? The first sign of trouble, I'm, I'm out of there. <sighs> all morning, just trying to get, all morning, just trying to get a, a bunch of pumpkins together. This was the stupidest thing to agree to. The stupidest thing. Look at these buffoons. Oxen Stadium, University of Oregon Ducks, number one team in the nation right now. Ugh. I don't want to be here anymore. I don't want to be here anymore. I want to get out of my car and run over and clothesline that guy. We're on Centennial Boulevard because I was supposed to reward my guys with a pumpkin carving contest. And so the guy, the pumpkin peddler, who apparently it's illegal, can't come over and meet me and bring me my pumpkins. I have to go over and meet him on Centennial Loop. Behind a building, behind an outhouse. Ugh. Ooh, I'm just getting so mad. I want to go back home again. Why can't I just go back home? Hey, I just want you to know I'm sitting here in happy time in, in traffic. Uh, No way. Oh, sh Yeah. All right, buddy, thanks. But Well, it's a complete waste of time. He went out to get the pumpkins at the farm and they already gave them to the pigs. Just wasted an hour of my life, I'll never get back. So I get all the way back here, and I, and I think to myself, well, now Darren's an old pig farmer, and he, he comes from a long line of pig farmers. His dad was a pig farmer, his dad's dad was a pig farmer. Maybe he knows where there's some. So I ask him, and he says, sure, I'll find you some pumpkins. Why, well, you knew I left a couple hours ago for pumpkins. Why wouldn't you do that? He finds pumpkins in two and a half minutes. Picks up the phone, makes one phone call, schmoozes some guy up the river to giving him the pumpkins. Not just, yeah, I got them, but you can have them. <laughs> we don't want them too big. They just become obnoxious. No, no. So, You're selling these here? Yeah, we're still selling what them. What part of, you can't have those, you know, don't you understand? <laughs> <laughs> I told him like three times. I didn't hear, okay? I have a hearing disorder. No, you need to be quiet. Listen. God can, gave you two ears and one mouth. Well, can we leave him here, Mr. Herod? Up. 
That thing needs to be over there. It needs to get dipped so we can assess exactly what panels we're going to be able to save and what ones we're not. Here, it's a pumpkin, fool. Have you never <laughs> carved a pumpkin? If you smash my pumpkin, I will kill you. It was a relief to get the CUDA loaded up on the truck and heading out. It really was. That thing needs to be over there. It needs to get dipped so we can assess exactly what panels we're going to be able to save and what ones we're not. Down there. Do you have an actual like, like carver for our pumpkin? No. Or we... No, this is how we had to do it when we were kids. Okay. We got you. a sharp knife out of mom's drawer. We get the big kitchen knives out, and it, it's tough because sometimes the blade's that big. So if you're trying to make a small hole, that, that's a little bit tougher. But you know, those are uh, those are the type of things that forge you into the person you become later in life. Okay. Did they not sell the pumpkin carvers anymore? At least anymore my nose wasn't broken. Nah, I didn't have any pumpkin carvers. But if everybody would have had the roadrunner down on the ground so I could assemble it, it wouldn't be an issue. If you're out in the woods and you got no way of feeding yourself. You're going to wish you knew how to carve a pumpkin. You're going to use those skills on, on a rat or a chicken or a monkey or something. You're going to wish you could use a knife. Why do we carve these after Halloween? Now, don't do your setup for the camera. You know exactly why we're doing this. Yeah, that's actually a good question. Well, it's a good question why are we? because nobody had the Roadrunner done. But what why, they were what's supposed the point? To of because I keep my word. I said we'll have a pumpkin carving contest and we're having one. I don't care if it's the middle of January. There is no point in having a pumpkin contest after Halloween, except to boost Mark's ego where he thinks he's gonna win the contest. <laughs> yummy, yummy, yummy. <laughs> I'm almost done and then I gotta go bring it in. I think my mom did. <laughs> You're sick. Darren! What did he do? Did you just take a bite of that? Yeah, it's anything to be a fool. Hi, I'm pumpkin. Seriously. Hi, baby. How serious? Hi. I had the most fun bothering Mark and Ricardo the pumpkin, Jeff. This is going to turn out very badly for you, Darren, if you keep it up. I smell like something oh. weird. Oh. It's a pumpkin, fool. Have you never <laughs> carved a pumpkin? Is your pumpkin rotten inside? Yes, it is. It was oh, good. man. It is not rotten. Yeah, yeah. That, one is. that one is rotten. That looks rotten inside. <laughs> I think that's what people deserve. They deserve rotten pumpkins because that's what you give a customer. You know, that's a good life lesson. All right. If you tell somebody their car's going to be done on the first and people goof around and play grab ass and don't get it done in time. So I have to give it to them two weeks late. It's kind of like a rotten pumpkin for them, isn't it? It's the pumpkin, dude. <laughs> Good. Oh, God. That's rot. I've I don't care. Oh, take pumpkin. it away. I'm I don't pumpkin. care. I have a really bad gag reflex. Take it away. I'm not the least bit sorry that his pumpkin is rotten. I, I think it's funny that his pumpkin was rotten. Don't worry. I'm not taking the top off. Just leave the top on it. That's your pumpkin. That's your clevis pin. No. That's my clevis pin? That's your clevis pin. That'd be funny. Joyce, that is awesome. Yeah. He's going to win first place. This is, this is Mark. What the hell is that supposed to be? This is you. <laughs> if you can't tell by the schnoz. It's too I small. I don't know why. The nose is too small. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's me? Lurch. Yep. Take a bite of this, Josh. Hold on one second, pal. Let's I will do it. Do you it, do it. I'll... Okay, come on. Seriously, Josh, six. It's rotting, and you just took a bite out of it. No, it's ain't rotten. No, 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 you gotta swallow it, buddy. That's sick. Dude, don't do that. We should all take an IQ test. It was fun to carve pumpkins again. I haven't carved any pumpkins since uh, my kids were young. I like putting the guts and stuff with my pumpkin and Mark's pumpkin. That was the most fun. 
Hi, Haley Warman. Oh, my God. Well, you know, I, I wanted the pumpkin carving contest to be a lot of fun for everybody, but Darren just couldn't accept it. Oh, well, you know, I, I wanted the pumpkin carving contest to be a lot of fun for everybody, but Darren just couldn't accept it for that. I don't know why. I'm serious. You empty it right now, and I'm serious. Over here. Empty it right now, and don't touch it. Empty it. Don't play around with power tools. Don't horse around. Give me my saw. Empty my pumpkin. I just emptied it you and washed one my hands. Other. Which one do you want? I want both so, of them. So you're not going to get both. He's like a little dog who barks at your heel all the time. Not going to do anything. He kept filling my pumpkin up with the crap out of his pumpkin. And I warned him several times, too. And I don't think he understood that I was serious. I hate that. I just hate it. I wish he wouldn't do it. See, I help a competitor out, okay? Is that cheating? No. No, it's not cheating. Why I don't have I? any knives. Well, well, either do we, but we can't use it. Well, it's okay. You always have to make sure to win so you cheat. I think all is fair. All was fair, yes. Was it fair for Josh to use the, the face that he bought in the store? When Mark does something, we should just smash his pumpkin. I wouldn't recommend it, dude. Why? What, what are just, you going to do, big boy? You know what, fella? Why don't you smash it and find out? If you smash my pumpkin, I will kill you. Well, the reason we're not over there with the car and we're three days late, thank you for asking, is the fact that somebody shut the sump pumps off on the loading dock and it flooded the car. So, you know, it would be one of those things that is kind of out of my control. Yeah. So I don't think, uh, I don't, <laughs> are you a doctor's office? You're not going to charge me for an appointment I didn't make. Throw some old crap box Chevy yeah. in there and let it set too long. What? Okay. Or I don't know. But are those the ones that you had me turn off a couple months ago to save money? Out back? During the summer? Hang on. You had me turn off some pumps back there. During the summer to save money. Are those the ones you're talking about? Yep. <laughs> yeah. So, um, anyway. Sorry about that. Yeah, well, um, anyway, we figured that whole thing out. It's no big deal. It doesn't matter because the car's made of metal anyway. There's, It's not like anything got hurt worse than it already did setting out in the rain, so. We got a lot done in the road runner this week. Got For the, example? Got the V21 blackout hood option on it. Looks painted very on there. Good. Justin Looks did a nice job good. on that. Yep. Engine, transmission, suspension, rear end, fuel tank, all in the road runner. Awesome. All buttoned up. And not a week too late. And what was our penance for not getting it done on time? Pumpkin carving contest two weeks late. Well, it wasn't two weeks late, but it was a little bit late. A little bit late. Well, okay, maybe now you know how the customer feels that owns the Roadrunner when we tell him his car isn't done because a few days late. You'll remember the rotted pumpkin, won't you? So did you okay. get him a pumpkin to carve in? He didn't do anything wrong. Well, we sent the Cuda off to the dipper. Hope there's a little bit of the Cuda left when it comes back. There'll be a lot left to the, to the Cuda dipper. How about the steak dinner? Did you like that? Steak dinner, no. I want a steak dinner, not a chicken fried steak dinner. Well, first, okay, you ordered the chicken fried steak. I didn't. Yeah, but you don't go to a Chinese joint and order American food. If I take you to a place that offers a steak, I've done my job. I offer you, you could look at the camera all stupid and bat your eyes, but I did my job. It's called a chicken fried steak, but it's actually a hamburger that's all beat up. It's okay. With breading on it. You're going to be beat up in a minute if you don't quit. Why don't you bring it on, old dude? Okay, buddy. Fool. Sitting over there with your, your beaker from the Muppet looking posture. Hi. Everybody, Mark here from Graveyard Garbs. I can't put the top up until you hit subscribe. So I'm begging you. Hit subscribe. <laughs>